hello dear students uh, we have uh, we have talked about time dilation in this video i'll be talking about uh, some of the the experimental evidences uh, that that support uh, that support the idea of time dilation and uh, what is important here is that that the, the experimental evidences that are in support of time dilation are found in the behaviors of some some uh, some elementary particles And, uh, and and these elementary particles are produced in nuclear reactions. Nuclear reactions. Now, the very first example would be the, the decay of uh, the decay of mu mesons. Now, <clears throat> these these mu mesons they, they are produced in they are produced in the upper portion of uh, the Earth's atmosphere uh, by, by virtue of the showers of cosmic rays that, that are coming from the outer universe. Now, the, the mass of mu mesons, uh, uh, the mass of these mu mesons is, is, is 215 times the mass of electron. And they can move with the velocity uh, of the order of 99.8% of velocity of light. And, and their, their, their lifetime, so let me take that as T, their lifetime is nearly 2.2 times 10 to the power of minus six seconds. So, uh, so, so, so they, they should decay uh, after traveling of, of distance. So uh, how much time they should take to uh, to decay after traveling a distance. So, what should we do? We should take this, uh, this, this uh, speed, which is 0 0.998 uh, times three times ten to the power of eight times uh, the time two point two times ten to the power of minus six, and and this will nearly come out to be 600 and, uh, 660 meters approximately. But what is found is that they are, they are found even at, they are found even at, at a distance, at a distance of 10 kilometers from their original point of, uh, of journey. Now, now, we can explain this thing that we have, that, that they are found after they travel a distance of 10 kilometers. We can, we can understand this by making use of uh, time dilation and we have already uh, obtained the equation for time di dilation and according to this time dilation uh, due to the motion of particles their lifetime dilates and uh, that is delta t and that delta t is delta t dash by under root of 1 minus v square by c square so for this this time dilation is calculated so delta t dash we have already it's given the problem, it's 2.2 into 10 to the power of minus 6. For So this is 2.2 into 10 to the power of minus 6 by under root of 1 minus, uh, uh, that is 0 0.998 c square by c square. So the whole square of this. Okay, and, uh, and this delta t, uh, so the c square and c square will go, and what we get is delta t is... 2.2 times 10 to the power of minus 6 by, by under root of 1 minus uh, 0 0.996. So this comes out to be 3.48 times 10 to the power of minus 5 seconds. So, uh, so we can calculate from this that, that what is the distance that's being traveled by, by this, uh, this particle, what's called as mu meson. So, so the distance traveled so the distance traveled by mu meson. Okay, so in view of time dilation, so that's going to be uh, 0 0.998 times 3 times 10 to the power of 8 times. What's the time now? It is 3.48 times 10 to the power of minus 5. Uh, so this nearly comes out to be, uh, it, it, it comes out to be 1,419 meters, which is... Uh, it's nearly 10.4 kilometers. 
So what we see here is, is that, that, that using the concept of time dilation, the distance traveled by, by mu Masson is, is 10.4 kilometers. So if we, if we go on proceeding the same thing uh, for uh, u using the concept of length, con uh, the, the hypothesis of, of length con contraction here, and what's that? Length gets contracted uh, uh, for a particle in motion. So what is that length? That is L is equal to L times under root of one minus V square by C square. So taking this L zero, so what is L zero as calculated here? So this is 10 kilometers nearly. So this is, uh, uh, this is 10,000 meters. Okay, I think I committed a mistake here. So it is, here it is. It's 10,419, not 1,490 meters. So, uh, so, so what we are going to get here is that, that we can measure this length, the distance that this particle has traveled. So this will come out to be 1,000, uh, 10,000, sorry, under root of one minus uh, uh, 0 0.998 C square by C square whole square. And, and what are we gonna get is 10,000, on the root of 1 minus 0 0.996 and this comes out to be 632.5 uh, meters. So what does it mean? It means that they have to cover only a distance of 632.5 uh, meters which is basically less than that of uh, uh, 658.5 six meters and and they are observed uh, on, on the surface of the earth and and similarly we, we can take an example of uh, decay of pi mesons uh, so decay of pi mesons and uh, uh, if we talk about the pi meson pi meson can be produced by by bombarding the uh, the, the carbon with, with light energy of alpha particles. If we have carbon, we hit it with uh, alpha particles. And, and, uh, and their mass is, so mass of pi mesons, uh, it is 273 times uh, greater than that of mass of electrons. And their lifetime is, uh, their lifetime is nearly 26 times 10 to the power of minus nine seconds. And, and can move with the velocity about 90%, 90% of velocity of, of light. So pi mesons can travel a distance of, so they can travel a distance of uh, uh, 0 0.9 uh, uh, times, three times 10 to the power of eight uh, times uh, 26 times 10 to the power of minus nine. So this distance can be calculated, and this distance come, comes out to be nearly seven meters before decaying. However, the flux of pi mesons can be detected even at large distances, and this is what justifies uh, the, this is what justifies the concept of dilation of their lifetimes. So what we observe here is is dilation or elongation of their lifetimes.